Stampers, Gainer again. Uh, now this is the one I'm going to be doing the cards <laughs> with. Um, I'm making this card. It's with the At Home bundle. At Home with You bundle it is. Isn't that cute? Idea for Christmas as well. Harvest Festival. Um, happy Birthday. Hos for your amazing hospitality. New home. Merry Christmas. For everything really. It's an all good all rounder. And it comes with uh, the dies as well. And you can buy this as a bundle and save 10%. I am going to swap up um, the door. I didn't like that really. It is cute. But um, I just stamped it on. Some lemon lime twist. But uh, it's this, it's the embossing paste we're going to use and we're going to leave it to dry. Then we're going to put the masking back on and go over with our ink so we don't get, it's just the brickwork that shows up there. But I'm going to change the door up. I'm going to use um, wood on this one. I don't know whether to use this size or this side. So let's get going. It's a basic card. I haven't stamped inside yet. This is eight and a quarter by five and... This one's by five and a half, but um, scored at four and an eighth. We're going to be using this beautiful little lantern, the door frame uh, for the thinlets, the little window. We're going to pop out and put some white behind. And the lovely little plant, which I've um, popped on my block already, my little lantern. And the greeting I'm going to use is from the vertical greeting and it just says for you. So that's mounted as well. Isn't that so sweet? Right, first of all, we're going to get our masking plate, which has got the brick effect on. If I can find it, there it is. Isn't that lovely? These come in a pack of four, you get the brick you get this little diamond shape and medallion and clouds fabulous i'll put a link and supply list in my blog as well so you've got a really rough side and then you've got a smooth side so the smooth side and i'm only gonna using the embossing paste i must admit once you've opened it and used it try not when you scrape it on the side Put it, try and put it back in there because it will dry out and go solid. You get the pack of spatulas as well. That's sweet. Um, and you don't really need a lot of this. You're just going to basically pour it on. Oh, look. I never washed it. Oh my God, our naughty girl. So my brickwork is already on there. What I did, I scraped this on. Look, I got a bit of colour now. Uh, I am going to have to leave that. I don't need it. Oh, I forgot to wash my mat. Look, I know you know it, girl. Uh, I washed it once I'd used the embossing paste. I just didn't wash it after I used the ink. So I'm going to flick that in the bin because I don't want to add it to my white. Otherwise my pot will end up orange and I don't want that. So oh, I can't get the lid on. <laughs> so you need to keep that airtight. You wash these as soon as you can. Um, and this stuff dries pretty quick I'm gonna peel that off look I've got my brick effect already but you can once this is dried you can go back over with your stencil and you can then layer sponge some color on which is what I did but I don't need to do that now I just need to wash this down later so you need to wash these quickly because it does dry very, very quick. This is nearly dry. But we're going to step this to one side just for a moment. And we're going to... Oops, that is me holding this. I've got a piece of scrap, Whisper White. I'm going to fetch in my door. 
and my black memento ink. And I know I'm doing the door in the wood, but because this is really thin designer series paper, I want to cut the two out together because I want to glue my door on and have a sturdier back than just the DSP. So I'm going to stamp my front door now on here. Oh, I do like that door. Isn't that lush? Mm. <laughs> so, I'm not going to have... Oh, it is tall enough. Yay! So I can cut them two out. Yes, it really is tall enough. So I can use this now to stamp my planter. Isn't that cute? And my little lantern as well. Isn't that sweet? And I'm going to pop the lid back on now. I'm going to be two minutes. I'm just going to put you on pause while I cut my pieces out. I won't be a second. I'm back. <laughs> um, I cut the little windows out as well. Isn't that sweet? That's a cute little plant. So there's my flower, uh, my planter and my lantern. And I'm going to pop these back in my box before I lose them. Um, oh, I've left my frame over there. My window and my little lantern. Just get my frame. Scoot across on my chair. <laughs> Love my chair, it's got wheels on, it's great. I'll pop those back in there. And we now have our little front door. How sweet is that? See now, this is dry, it's fabulous. And I did mount my door as well. And I'm going to glue the two together. Um, isn't that sweet? You could draw some little curtains in there, I suppose. Or if you do what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of fast fuse to keep these two together. I quite like the wood, actually. Oh, why didn't I do that the other day? And I use Cajun Crates, and it's a paler version now uh, than it is on my other card. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to use um, my marker pens. And I'm using Soft Sky um, to Daffodil Delight. Soft Sky and my Cajun Craze which I wasn't a lover of, but I am now. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to my planter. And I'm not going to do it all the way. Because I'm going to fetch my blender pen in. There it is. I'm going to try and blend some of this colour in. I can add to shade in as well. I'm sorry if you can see the top of my head. I tend to be uh, that sweet. And I'm going to use on my flame, on my candle. I'm using a tiny little bit of the soft sky for the glass. Oops. And I'm also going to do this on here, on my window. Isn't that cute? 
I'm going to fetch a little bit of pear pizzazz in just to cover colour my tree in. It's getting there. It's really quick card as well. Wow, I can't believe this. Again, another quick one. But it looks so complicated when you uh, take into the effect of The embossing paste is so cute and so quick. I can't get over this. I'm going to use a large dimensional on here. I've done three videos tonight. One was a reveal of the win autumn winter catalog. Um, we were told, well, I was told not or suggested not to show everything because uh, it might put people off buying in August, but. Everybody else is doing it, so why not me? So I've done it too. I also did 3x3 three three mini thank you cards with using up scraps again as well. I love this version of my card. It's so sweet. Loving it. My gorgeous little planter is going right next to the front door. Isn't that lovely? And where's my stamp? I'm going to stamp my For You. I've used a bit of shimmer in the Whisper White cardstock. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to fetch my little lantern in. And I'm also going to fetch in... That's sweet. Oh, my I'm loving it. I'm going to add a little bit more. Of my Cajun Craze and my blender pen again. Wherever it's gone. Where's my blender pen gone? <laughs> Oh gosh, hidden. It's gone hide about. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. I have two of them, but I can find that one then. I'm just going to add this with the copper tone. I had the green one on the other one. So this is going to be a little copper toned lantern. That's sweet. And that's it. I'm going to clean off my bristle. Get rid of my bits now. And I'm going to give you the card measurements now for the card. We use the Whisper White which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And we just scored this at four and one eighth. I used a piece of soft suede. Then this is cut at three and seven eighths by five and a half. And this is going to get matted on here. Absolutely beautiful. Just had a little bit of fast fuse here. I'm getting to like this stuff because it's now so easy to use. Matte our card, and I think I'm going to use dimensionals on here. Like I say, and I use the shimmer and white. Beautiful. I've done a lot with dimensionals this past week. I'm using up quite a few of them. 
That's my excuse to send in a cheeky little order. Bab, I need a few essentials and then end up with a couple more bundles on top as well. <laughs> he thrown in. <laughs> he doesn't mind blessings, a little superstar. Patience of an ox with me. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this now onto my base. <gasps> Lovely. Oh my god, I'm loving this. And what, oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs. And if there's any ink left on my planter, I'm just going to pop this right there in the corner. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this one. I fetch my blender back in. I'm going to open up my Cajun craze because I want a little bit of colour on my little planter. That's sweet. Now I'm going to close that. Oops, I need a little bit of this for the little baubles to give the lights on my tree. I know I didn't do it on the front, I just went over it, but uh, hey ho. And now again, I'm going to use uh, some lemon lime twist on this one, just to give my branches a bit of life. It's only for the inside of the card. Isn't that sweet? And there we have that. So we've got a little bit of decoration on the inside of our card as well. Oh, I hope you like it. I think this one's beautiful. I also like this one as well. I give them a bit more brick effect, but I didn't think I needed it now I added this. But you could have masked over. You could have gone back over with your uh, stencil and sponged on your colour, which is what I did with this one, but then never cleaned it off this for some reason. But it's given me that lovely pale brick effect. I'm going to add a number to my door again. Which we'll have now. We'll have... Uh, number 10. How's that? Oh, I hope you liked it. I loved it. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my embossing paste now before it gets too much and my Cajun Craze ink. But I'm going to clean these up now. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can add a little wreath come Christmas and put little red balls on there and lights. But um, I hope you like it anyway. But thanks for watching. Thumbs up and a share and a subscribe will be great. Until next time. Bye.